<laughs> oh my god, Todd. What have you done? This is brilliant. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Tower Simulator 3. I've just finished recording the LaGuardia stint that we just did there. It was really good fun except for Jet Blue... Blue? Jet Blue pilots thinking that it's fun to T-bone Air Canada. I'm not sure if there's some weird rivalry going on there, but still, they made it look very messy indeed. In this episode, we're going to go back to this place, KRDU. Now, I did uh, this video at lunchtime and it was apparently the busiest time of the day however it seems that i was looking at somebody else's spreadsheet for a schedule that they'd made where it was a lot busier than what i had written down now krdu is my favorite airport on the game so far it's really easy to control and you can still enjoy yourself there we're going to be using 05 left and 05 right today we're going to make it a little bit cloudy as well you can see here that i have airport databases written down now I've made my own schedule for this place, or I'm making my own schedule for this place. It's something I'm hoping to do a couple of episodes further down the line, so hold your horses on that one, we'll get to that. There is, however, this one as well, because I've met a wonderful guy called Todd in the Discord who makes schedules for Tower Simulator 3, and this is a combination of his schedule, frequency file, and a terminal file by Biggs and they've said it's a lot busier at KRDU, this should give you a lot more activity. I'm going to start at 6 in the morning as well, so it should be just about becoming daylight when we jump in. We're still, of course, going to be using the aircraft by Energist Design, which is great, by the way, that you can combine the aircraft of that and the database and the schedule and whatever else from other people. I love the fact that the game has that compatibility now, and you can just send each other files. Everyone's sharing them on the Discord as well. I'll pop a link to the Discord in uh, the description below as well, actually. But we're going to jump straight into KRDU, 6am, a very busy schedule, 5 left and 5 right, let's see how it goes. You're going to be seeing a lot more appearances of the unbranded drink in this episode as well, that was a big twitch in my hand. In the last episode I decided not to drink because admittedly it can be a bit annoying having to edit the, uh, the little witness protection thing that comes up when I hold this in place. But I think I'd rather do that than ruin my voice to be honest with you because my voice is my income. <laughs> Simple as that. And let me take this moment to show my appreciation for the love that this series is getting so far. Honestly, my episodes on Tower Simulator 3 have got so many more views than other stuff that I'm doing on the channel. I'm still paying attention to the other series as well. There was supposed to be words there. I'm still paying attention to the other series on the channel as well, my Gran Turismo stuff. I'm going to try and do some more vlogs as well in the coming year. And of course, I'm going to be doing the sim racing broadcast and all sorts as well. If you do watch this and you enjoy this content, please try the other stuff as well. Just see what you think of it. You never know until you watch it. You might enjoy my dry humour or whatever else, my self-depreciating humour. But we're just going to load into KRDU now and I'm going to stop waffling and we're going to crack on. But thank you very much so far for everyone that's been watching this series and enjoying the content. Right then, let's see what we've got. Let's set our screens up as we normally do. Uh, we're not going to bother with 14 and 32 uh, which are down here, the further runways down the bottom. We're going to turn the tag size and the icon size down a little bit. Uh, runway tags don't need to be that big either. Taxiways, and pretty much know the taxiways here. Zoom out on that. Uh, information is Delta. We've got no wind as ever. Nothing on the strips at the moment, and we are good. Let's just take a quick look around the airport, shall we? We're going to pause time here and take a look at what we've got. So we've got a few little skitterish jets down here. We've got a couple of Southwest aircraft ready to go. Uh, Spirit Wings as well, although to be honest, no lights on any of them right now. We've got a couple of nav lights showing on GA. Apparently there is a lot more GA activity on this schedule as well. We have an American 777, which is sat on the edge of this terminal here. Got some regional jets down the inside. Biggs has done a good job with this actually because he spread a lot of the American stuff out and that is the gate really that the American 777 should be using because they can get round that Which I like a lot. So that works. Got 737 Max 800 another Max a JetBlue A319 We've also got an Air Canada Embraer that's going to come up as Jazz and then we've got all this sort of stuff We've got an Alaskan Embraer here as well a couple of Brickyard and Republic ones And we've got a 737 is that a 900 by Delta? It's a big boy isn't it? Yes, it is a 900 because it's got these weird pictures of people in the window rather than just plowing black windows and then the rest of the delta 737 and even the united 737 fleet as well that's a little 700 there next to a couple of delta ones and then an 800 to go with it oh and the frontier airbus which i seem to miss what's it got on the tail of course it's a doggo let's jump back up into the tower get time going again 
And while actually that time is going, I'm going to try and have a look over on the cargo ramp, see what we've got. Is that a 767? It is. Big 767, 8042s, 80R42s, and an Alaskan thing. Tower. Endeavour 5047. Pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. Is there anybody coming in on arrival? No. Now you can see, compare the speed of that guy's voice to what it's going to be like later when it gets a little bit busier. Because early on, they speak really, really slowly when it's not as busy, I've been told. So the busier the airport gets, the quicker they start to speak, which I think is really cool, to be honest with you. Um, I've not actually looked at the schedule itself. I've not looked into the file because I don't want to see when stuff's coming in and when it's going out in advance. I want to just go into it head on. But thanks again for Todd for making this and, of course, Biggs for working on the terminal file as well. It's nice to actually be here when there is a heavy on the ramp as well. We had the 777 come in last time we played this and it was good to see it. Nice to see the Endeavour here pushing out of the regional gate. They've got these gate numbers on the floor, of course, and then a few gates for each one, so dependent on what comes in. So you could maybe park a 737 in there or get two regional jets in side by side. So it's got that flexibility. And they've updated the game in that first hotfix they did. They updated the game to make sure that they don't use all three at once. You know, they have told it that if one's in use, don't use the others. It's a pretty clever system, to be honest with you. There's not going to be a whole lot going on here, so we are going to speed up time a little bit. Just to see what happens. Endeavour 5047, runway 05 left by Bravo. Oh, let's keep our eye on wary taxis because hopefully he doesn't go there. But I fear he might do. No. That's good. That is good. That is very good. Uh, we are getting more stuff now calling up. Oh, right, okay, so we've got two of them. And we've got someone on arrival as well, so it is starting to kick off. Uh, I do this here at KRDU. I move them up directly, which is probably not a good idea, to be honest with you. American 353, pushback approved. It's a bit runway 05 left. We're going to get 353 out of here first. And now Southwest won a bit of it and all. Southwest 2750, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 right. And what approach are you coming on then? Let's have a look at you. Endeavour's coming in on 05 left. Now that makes sense. We've got an a Airbus A300 freighter as well coming in on 05 right. Now that doesn't work for me. I forgot to tell cargo stuff to go on 05 left only. What's the clearance like? Oh, we can get them to change. UPS 1634, enter final runway 05 left. UPS 1634 heavy, enter final runway 05 left. No, they're too far out, so they've not contacted us yet, so that's fine. Uh, Endeavour 4947, runway 05 left, clear to land. Now, I wish the strips that we've got here were set up like this for every airport. I just need departures up a bit. Uh, what have we got? Oh, American 1715, that's the heavy, is it not? It is. American 1715 Heavy, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. Endeavour 404... Yeah, maybe not, Chaz. <laughs> what clearance have we got? Uh, Endeavour 5047, runway 05 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Let's get him out of here. They've been given clearance. American 353, runway 05 left by Bravo. So he's going to go that way, and then we can get this one out as well. There goes the 777. Big wagon. I love a 777, man. They are just so massive. And they just make it all look effortless as well. That's exec jet there. Now that's a Boeing 777-200, which is a whopper, chunky whopper. Exec jet 259, a pushback approved, expect runway 05 right. 
How close are we on these arrival? Oh, we're all right, aren't we? This is busy. This is very busy in comparison. I like this a lot. Southwest 2750, runway 05 right. American 2033, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. Skywest 4119, a pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. JetBlue's calling up as well now. Where are they in comparison? Yeah, they're fine. JetBlue 202, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. American 1715 Heavy, runway 05 left via Bravo. Well, UPS 1634 Heavy, enter final, runway 05 left. American 376. A321, that's coming in 05 left as well. There's not a lot of clearance between them. Let's get him on uh, zero 05 right, and then he can taxi across. UPS 1634 heavy, runway zero 05 left, clear to land. This is going to be mad. Look at this. Wow. He really has made it busy. What are you? I don't know what that is. Nope. That's not you. Med. Nope. They're a long way behind because I've given so many commands. So Endeavour has landed, which is here. Let's just get an idea of this. There's the exec jet. Look at the size of that. Oh, are they waiting? Is he waiting? That's good. Ugh, don't like that. Let's just... American 2033, runway 05, left via Bravo. JetBlue 202, runway 05, left via Bravo. Endeavour 4947, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Alright, what's on the approach? American 376, enter final, runway 05, right. Oh, and look at this. Wow. Right. Gone. Uh, you've not been given pushback. American 376, runway 05 right, cleared to land. This is crazy. Endeavour's on the ground. I've never seen... Ah, uh, now look. They're all taxiing together. That's great. Who's is that over there? Whoa, what's that? Swift Air. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I didn't notice that before. Oh, what was that thing? Oh, I'm just going to I'm gonna do this to this one. So, um, approved. Expert runway. <laughs> we need to listen out to see what it is. Medivac or something like that. Skywest 4119, runway 05 left via Foxtrot. Right, so UPS is coming in. Southwest 2750, runway 05 right, clear for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Please. <laughs> Take off. UPS is landing. Which is that one? Skywest 6110, runway 05 right, clear to land. JetBlue 760, runway 05 left, clear to land. There's the A300. What is that thing? Uh, we need to give exec jet taxiway clearance. Exec jet 259er, runway 05 right at Alpha 2. Medivac 451, runway 05 right via Alpha. Exec jet 259er, runway 05 right via Alpha. 
UPS 1634 Heavy, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. And then Endeavour's going to be done. This is mad, mate. <laughs> this is mad. Right, who we got incoming on, on left? No one for ages. American 353, runway 2... No. American 353, runway 05, left, clear for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude, 2,000 contact departure. Crack on! Pig! Because we've got a hell of a queue. Let's do this. You better wait. You better wait. You better wait. You better wait. Jet Blue had been... Yeah, you're waiting. That is good stuff. Right then. My God. American 1469 at runway 05 right clear to land. I've got American landing now. What are you? Some sort of A320 or something. Uh, A321 coming in. That is fine. You've been given clearance. That is good. You're squawking a code of sorts. Uh, let's get someone out. Oh, no, he's only just rolling, so no, I'm not going to risk it. Wow, this is busy. Todd, what have you done? This is fantastic. This is what I wanted from KRDU, because like I said... Oh, God, not you. American 2756 pushback approved. It's bit runway 05 left. UPS is about to be done. Three. Where are you going to end up? Oh, you're taxiing there. Let's get you on five right. Three, two, six, eight, golf. Enter final runway zero five right. We'll get a bunch of arrivals on zero five right. Three, two, six, eight, golf. Runway zero five right. Clear to land. And then do we get a break? Yeah, we get a bit of a break. So some of these can wait. So we've got dual arrivals which is quite cool look at that wow oh we need to get these off uh american 376 taxi to ramp via charlie love that okay so once that arrival comes in on five left we are clear that's jet blue 760 that is just about touched down there so we can see this jet blue 202 Runway 05 left, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Mountain 4292, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. Wow. Five left, line up and wait behind Where are you going? Oh, of course. Brickyard 5142, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. Skywest 6110, taxi to ramp via Charlie. <laughs> oh my god, Todd. What have you done? This is brilliant. Right, who have we got on the ground? Uh, 376. 760. And Skywest on the ground. Anyone on approach? Right. JetBlue 202, runway 05 left. Clear for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude, 2000 contact departure. Uh, look how fast they taxi down here, by the way. They rattle on down there. Oh, no. Bloody JetBlue. Oh, you're going there. JetBlue 760. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. American 2756. Runway 05 left. Hi, Bravo. Right, is that it now for arrivals on 05 right? No, it's not. So you're just going to have to wait. Skywest 4119 runway 05 left cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000 contact departure. Well, this is mad. I love it. I love it, Todd. I love it. You have done a good job, mate. You have gone gun a good gob. Oh god, what happened? Ground, five, one, four, two, ready to taxi. 
American 1469er. Taxi to ramp via Charlie. Look at that. Right, so we've got this all going on. These are ready to call up as well. Over there we've got that. They're taking off. We've not even got that 777 out yet. They're both taxiing across that way to then come around here. We've got an arrival shortly, which is that thing. So we're going to tell them to line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. It's noisy. Exec Jet 259 and runway 05 right. Line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. And then we've got an arrival in a bit, which is Brickyard. That looks like 05 left. Brickyard 5142, runway 05 left via Foxtrot. American 2033, runway 05 left. Line up and wait. Mountain 4292, runway 05 left via Bravo. Whew. 3268 Golf, taxi to ramp via Charlie. Okay. So now we've got used to the initial chaos. <laughs> we might be alright. They want to go down here. But hopefully they're not stupid enough to take forever. And then we can get that American out of here. American 2033, runway 05 left. Clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000. Contact departure. Oosh. They are squawking. They are squawking. Whatever you are has not been given clearance yet. Have we got 760 still on frequency? They're just about to get into their gate. American 376 is already in their gate. Martek. That's here. Oh, God. American 1715 Heavy, runway 05 left, line up and wait. What about these approaches? They're fine runway for a while yet. Martek 8568, pushback approved, expect... No, I've realised, because if I tell them to push back, Charlie they're going to hit this thing. No, oh, it's you again. Brickyard 5697, runway 05 left, clear to land. God, this is busy, man. I love it. I love it. I enjoy it here because it's a much simpler layout than LAX. Um, LAX, you've got four runways. Exec Jet 259 and runway 05 right. Clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000 contact departure. Where are you? There. Right, they're going around there, so that brickyard has to wait. Yep, you have to wait. American 1715 Heavy, runway 05 left, clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Runway 05 left, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. American Medivac 451, runway 05 right, clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Endeavour 4848, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. They're on the ground. 1469. Uh, oh, long gone. Skywest 6110 is going around there. And let's have a look out the window at the big pig. Let's listen. Wow, big piggy. Go on, use all that runway. Oh, what? Runway alert. Ah. Oh. oh, that's my bad because, yeah, I told Medivac to take off and exec jets only. Oh, it's there. And Medivac's there. Oh, that was a bit harsh. Oh, well. Is what it is. Right, let's just check what's on approach because that scares the life out of me. Brickyard 5273, enter final runway 05 left. Oh, was it that there's two aircraft too close to each other in the air there? 
Because I didn't think about that, did I? Oh god. Brickyard 5273, runway 05 left, clear to land. Right, let's get some of this off my screen. Uh, what else? We, who are we giving pushback to? So these want pushback now. Two brickyards. Excuse me. And Dev has been given pushback. Oh, we need to wait for him to land and then we can get Martek out. Oh, we've got one both on five left. Chaz! You're screwing yourself over here, lad. Endeavour 4848, runway 05 left via Bravo. Right, we're going to do this now. Brick card 5694, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. I said I'm going to do this now as if I'm going to do something revolutionary. I'm really not. Oh, there's more. Where's Skywest now? What are you doing over there? Skywest 3374, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. What I wanted to do was get them to come down here and go to 05 right. Right, you two can sod off. We've got more. Brickyard is about to touch down. Let's just have a quick scan over this situation. It looks a lot more jam-packed on the screen when you see it like this. It seems okay. All right, let's get them lined up and ready to go. American 2756, runway 05, left, line up and wait. Am I cutting that too fine? I think I am. I should have given them takeoff clearance by now. Oh, we might be all right. We might be all right. We're gonna te we're gonna test the waters here because Brickyard is hopefully gonna get off at that taxiway just there, which means I can start saying this: American two seven five six runway zero five left, cleared for immediate takeoff. American two seven five six runway zero five left, cleared for takeoff. Just get on with it. Do the spinny thing. Come on, come on, come on. Get cracking. Get cracking. There's the approach. That's probably too close. You need to shift that 737. You also need to shift your bloody Martech thing, don't you? Martech 8568, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 right. We're going to put stuff on 05 right. Ugh. Brickyard 5694, runway 05 right via Echo. Martech 8568 approved, expect runway 05 right. Skywest 3374, runway 05 left via Bravo. Brickyard 5697, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. No. Brickyard 5697, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Oh, fine, you go and do that. <laughs> I don't care. Brickyard 46901, pushback brood, expect runway 05 right. Right, so once they're in, are we alright? Endeavour 4849, runway 05 right, clear to land. Right, let's sort the of strips out. Fuck, rap! 56907 is already on the ground. 5273. It's just landed. And they've been given clearance. Okay. Yes, you're already taxiing. Shut up. Delta's there. Uh, Delta 381 pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. Oh, God. Look at this shed. Look at it. That Swift Air 73 is gorgeous. This is what's going on here. So it's this Delta that's going to push back. They're off the runway, so that's fine. Let's get them out. Brickyard 5142, runway 05 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude, 2000 contact departure. Todd, I love your work, mate. So we've got an approach on 05 right. Mountain 4292, runway 05 left. Line up and wait. Brickyard 5273, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. What? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't realise that they'd joined Bravo so early. Oh, God. 
I thought they were... Oh, I should have told them to go down Foxtrot, really. That's my bad. That is a big, bad error. Ah. Now, Keith. Right, then. Let's get rid of one of them. That's a major fault of Chaz's. Let's delete you. Oh, we've already got the points out of you coming in. We should have deleted the other one. Martek 8568, runway 05, right via Echo. What is going on down here? Get on with it, Shed. And then you're getting ready to go as well. <sighs> have I given 4849 landing clearance? Yes, I have. Delta 1336, runway 05, left clear to land. <laughs> oh my god. I'm genuinely being tested by this. Todd, I love what you've done. This is great. Brickyard 46901, runway 05, left. Brickyard 46901, runway 05, right via Echo. Delta 381, runway 05, left via Bravo. Brickyard 5273, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Brickyard 5273, taxi to ramp via Fox. That's really weird. 40 right Kilo Bravo, runway 05, right approved. Four zero kilo Bravo, approved. Expect runway zero five right. Oh, I'm not having the best time, have I? What? English. Ooh. Right, Endeavour's in. They're both in. They've been on a right journey all the way down there because I can't speak English. Let's have a look what's going on here. Anyone going to have an issue here? No, but we've got something ready to... Uh, Mountain 4292, runway 05, left clear for takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. There was somebody we didn't tell to contact departure before. That one. American 2756, contact departure. <laughs> Good morning indeed. I'm glad I just remembered that in the nick of time. Endeavour 4849er. Taxi to ramp via Charlie. Right, have we got an approach? Martek 8568, runway 05, right clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Where are these two taxiing to? Right, they're going around there, so we need to wait for them to go past before we let Delta and Jazz out of there. Whoa, you're ready to go. 40 Kilo Bravo, runway 05, right via Alpha. This is fantastic. United 659er. United 659er, enter final, runway 05 left. United 659er, runway 05 left, clear to land. Whew, right. <coughs> yes, please. Endeavour 4849er is on the ground, isn't it? That's there. Yeah, we've got you, mate, don't you worry. Uh, Martek needs to get a shift on. Actually, no, they're all right. We've got a while before anything approaches. Wow. So who knew it? KRDU. Dead busy. <laughs> so we've got Delta there and then Jazz. Jazz is ready to go, actually. We can get Jazz out of there, though, which is nice. Jazz 8132 pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. God, Endeavour is speeding down there, but they're going to go around, so that's fine. Whoa. Oh, Southwest. Southwest 5629, a pushback approved. Expect runway 05 right. Southwest 5629, a pushback approved. Expect runway 05 right. There you go, unbranded drink. Move it slowly so I can animate the thing easier. <laughs> Are we in for some trouble here with you in your shed? Are you going to hurry up, please? Are you going to hurry up, please? Go! Ah! Oh, no, that shed is going very slowly, and he will wait for you. Wait. 
Wait. Wait, shed. Right. I'm probably going to get in trouble for something if I don't tackle this now. Delta 2000, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. 606 Kilo Bravo. 606 Kilo Bravo. Approved. Expect runway 05 right. Delta 1336, taxi to ramp via Fox. Have we got any approaches on left? Yes, we have. It's a good thing I checked that, isn't it? I was going to send them out. Uh, it means we can get these out, though. Brickyard 5694, runway 05 right. Clear for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude, 1000 contact departure. Uh, why would you drive into the side of a 737, you moron? Why? Why? Bad dog. Right. Is that you? No. Yeah. Ah. Get stuffed. Go away. Right. So we need people to just behave themselves. So once that approach, once that arrival comes in... Right, you two are in there, so you're sorted now, so we've got everyone else ready to go. Right, give me a minute. Delta 2000, runway 05 left via Bravo. Jazz 8132, runway 05 left via Bravo. Envoy 4022, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. Where are you going? Why? Oh, Echo. God. Delta 2000, runway 05 left, via Bravo. Southwest 5629, runway 05 right. 606, Kilo Bravo. 606. 606, Kilo Bravo. November 606, Kilo Bravo. 606, Kilo Bravo, runway 05 right. Come on. Brickyard 46901, runway 05 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Nothing coming in at all now, so let's get everything out. Endeavour 4848, runway 05 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Got another thing there. Delta 744, pushback approved, expect runway 05 at left. Where are you going? You're going there, that's fine. Nice and useful. Right, let's get the things that are on the ground gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tiki, love that, love. Absolutely love that. Tiki. Oh, Frontier Flight wants to come out as well now. Right, I'm sending some of you to 05 right. United 659er, taxi to ramp via Fox. Envoy 4022, runway 05 left via Bravo. Actually, Envoy 4022, hold position. I'm going to send him down Delta. But I just want to make sure that this sod gets out of the way first. Delta 381, runway 05 left, line up and wait. Envoy 4022, <laughs> taxi 2, no. Stop. Envoy 4022, runway 05 right via Delta Alpha. Look at that, dual takeoffs. One there. One there. Where's Envoy? Oh, you're cute. See how they're talking a lot quicker now as well because it's busier. Frontier Flight 1347, pushback approved, expect runway 05 right. Southwest 5629er, runway 05 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Oh, what are you? Don't know that call sign, so I'm going to have to listen out for that. going to have to listen out. Delta 381, runway 05 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. 
let's get them to departure as soon as possible so then it's not our problem anymore look at this it's very messy I hope they don't hate us up there in departures uh, I'm waiting for Frontier to finish pushing back before I tell Delta to taxi which is just called up now there goes Delta taking off God, that was that 737-900 from ages ago. That's Delta 744, which has just come up there, isn't it? Yeah, that's how long ago those messages are falling behind now. Uh, let's get that. Delta 2000, runway 05 left, line up and wait. So what's JIA then? I've not heard of that one before. Uh, Frontier is going to go straight on to 05 right. Oh, I spoke over it. What was it? Poo streak? I don't know. Let's just give them clearance. Clear to land. Blue streak, not poo streak. <laughs> I nearly got it. One three three Delta one three three six is in its thing. So is United 659 er Yes, so that's fine. We can bin them. Right. Now it's all about getting you lot out nice and safely. What are you? Delta 2000, runway 05 left. Clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000. Contact departure. Man's still got it. Runway 05 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000. Contact departure. Jazz 8132, runway 05 left. Line up and wait. They're going to be all right to get out of there. It's very messy up there, but we've not been told off for that yet. But we've been told off for a few other things, which is not good. Frontier Flight 1347, runway 05 right via Echo. Delta 744, runway 05 left via Bravo. Well, Todd, you have done a belter of a schedule here, Sunshine. This is very busy compared to what we normally get, and I love it to bits. I want that to go out, though. When does that go out, Todd? Tell me. So Frontier Flight's going to come down here and then around here over the road and then down there. Well, that shed is ready to get going. Meanwhile, Delta is going to come down here and then go out this side. Uh, let's get Jazz out of here. Jazz 8132, runway 05 left. Clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000 contact departure. And there's nothing coming in on 05 right. 606 Kilo Bravo. Clear for immediate takeoff. Well, I've heard of 5x5, five five, but 285x5, five five, that's a clear microphone. 606 Kilo Bravo, runway 05 right. Clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Okay, get you out of here. Get you out of here. So what's Blue Streak? Is that like... Is that like... Oh, yeah, because JetBlue is... Uh, oh, no, it's JBU. This is JIA. Is it like some sort of extra regional JetBlue thing? 208 Romeo Foxtrot. Runway 05 right approved. Chaz is saying the wrong thing. 208 Romeo Foxtrot approved. Expect Runway 05 right. You're cute with your little nose. Boop. This is fantastic, Todd. Honestly. Wow. So, Delta 744, please wait. Please hold, caller. Let's see what this is then that's coming in now. We've got a minute. Uh, I have noticed, by the way, as well, when you do cloudy here. Oh, look, it's going over the road. It's all cool and pretty and stuff. Imagine if you were in the car park down here. You see the plane. Lovely. It's got Doggo on it. Ah, woo. Sorry, I'm being a child. So we've got Delta ready to go. And we've got Poo Street coming in. Oh, is it like a JetBlue regional thing? Because that looks like a CRJ. I didn't check what aircraft type it was. Let's see. I'm going to have to call it quits soon, I'm afraid, because this is nearly time to say goodbye. What are you other than a CRJ? It's not going to have a livery on it, is it? Oh, no, it is. What is that? Oh, it's... Oh, that's that's a shame. thought it would be actually something that was interesting. It's quite a nice shot, isn't it, with the tower and everything. Who wants me now? Whoa, Envoy's flying up behind him. 
Oh, God. Frontier Flight 1347, runway 05 right. Clear to immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Delta 744, runway 05 left, line up and wait. Blue Streak 5474, taxi to ramp via Fox. Endeavour 4936, pushback approved, expect runway 05 right. 208, Romeo Foxtrot, runway 05 right via Alpha. Southwest 4823, pushback approved, expect runway 05 right. Okay. Take off. Dun dun dun. Ah, Delta's literally just popped up. Delta 2554, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. So, what are you doing? Fox. Rot. Envoy 4022, runway 05 right, line up and wait. Delta 744, runway 05 left, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Who wants me now? Who else is here? Is it that United? Oh no, yeah, it's United and Delta. And now Alaska's got its nav lights on as well. Uh, 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 mom. Just doesn't stop. They're gonna come in and taxi into there. Blue Street 5474, hold position. Endeavour 4936, runway 05 right via Delta. 208 Romeo Foxtrot, hold position. Envoy 4022, runway 05 right, clear for takeoff upon reaching altitude 2000, contact departure. Oh boy, they're gone. Jazz 7406, runway 05 left, clear to land. Medvac 756, runway 05 right, clear to land. This is... I'd say, other than the two stupid issues, one was definitely my fault. The other one was just an aircraft not waiting for a plane that was clearly visible in front of it. It's been alright, isn't it? Right, Southwest, are you done? Right, you're done, so we can tell the other one to carry on. 208 Romeo Foxtrot, continue taxi. Southwest 4823, runway 05 right via Alpha. Endeavour's just making its way around there. We're going to make that one wait. Delta 2554, runway 05 left via Bravo. United 1665, pushback approved, expect runway 05 left. Oh, man. Now, unfortunately, I think it is time to end. Now, this has been absolutely crazy, crazy fun, to be fair. Very challenging stuff. Todd has outdone himself. He has been mega at setting these schedules up, and I think we have had an absolute blast of it. I hope you were able to keep up with that better than I was, because, to be quite honest with you, I lost my mind in a lot of places there, but I think that was really good fun. A lot of very quick turnarounds as well with some of these airliners, so they'd come in, and then all of a sudden, they'd be straight back out again, so that's what makes it a big challenge. You've got stuff coming into gates like this down here, where they've got to go all the way around, and then you want stuff to come out of here as well, so you've got to keep it waiting for ages, so we would have had that one over there coming down here, wait into there and then with one would have had to push back and go back out i'm explaining this like an absolute neanderthal right now however krdu is a blast i love this airport i'm going to play with this one a lot more it's probably going to be the airport that i cover most on my channel until the new ones get brought out and if there's anything i prefer to that but this is great really great fun i'm going to try and find where in the schedule this little sod goes out as well because i want to get a picture of it um well to be honest they've actually got the doors open so it can't be too far from now in the schedule and I don't know what I'm on about getting a picture of it. I just want to see it go out. Anyway, my voice is going. I need some unbranded drink. Thank you very much for watching, as ever. And I will see you in the next episode.